Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. What uh, a day. What a privilege it is for me in my third week as the president of the Ford Foundation to be able to be with you. Um, and you are right, Dorothy. Um, this institution and youth build uh, are so intertwined, our histories, our mission, uh, our mandate. And so I thank you uh, for being uh, one of my sheroes because you have um, been valiant, you have been fierce, and you have been determined. <laughs> I, I have to acknowledge uh, my Ford colleagues because it, this institution is really um, but a group of people working around the world to hopefully make our small contribution to eradicating injustice and working for righteousness in this world. But Gordon Berlin, it all started with Gordon <laughs> because Gordon as he knows in an institution like the Ford Foundation, you've got to have an advocate who can get the president and the trustees' attention with a bold idea. And this was a bold idea. And Gordon got Bob Kerman's attention. He got Susan Beresford's attention. And ultimately, that is why our board visited you um, on that great day that was really, I think, transformative for this institution and our board, so thank you, Gordon, for your leadership. <laughs> and so it's true that we have, um, over um, these years, uh, supported Youth Bill and um, believe firmly in your mission and your work. And what you've talked about and what I just heard was um, the results of uh, this great organization. And I am often reminded um, that it is easy to be uh, discouraged. It is easy to be depressed and dejected by what is going on in this world today. But when I look at organizations like, like Youth Build, um, I am joyous. I am hopeful. I believe when I see the work of Youth Build. But I also know from my own experience um, that not everyone has access to Youth Build. And that's the great tragedy. I'm reminded of that because I received a phone call from my sister um, a couple of years ago. And um, she said, um, I'm calling you about Cousin George. So I grew up in a small uh, town in Texas uh, and was, was born in a pretty um, um, poor uh, community in, in a small town in Louisiana. And uh, my mother took us to Texas um, in part because she felt that there was no opportunity for her um, in that small town population, 2000, um, in rural Louisiana. But we always stayed connected, um, as is often the case when you move from um, a small town. Um, so Cousin George was someone I remembered babysitting. And I remembered um, as this um, lovely, uh, rambunctious um, kid, boy, who just brought me joy. Um, but unfortunately, Cousin George's life uh, went in a different direction than, than my life, as uh, regrettably uh, many of the men in my uh, family. Um, and, and so hearing about, I knew that Cousin George was, was um, in the penitentiary and he was not the first of my cousins, um, male cousins, to have experienced that. But what I wasn't ready for was that my sister told me that Cousin George had hung himself in prison. And um, it, it made me think back on what happened in his life and what, what wasn't there for him. Um, and I um, know that the environment in which he grew up um, 
there weren't the kinds of interventions like Youth Build that can make a difference, give you hope, and can help you think about and imagine a future for yourself. And so, um, for me, the work that you do is deeply personal. And it is important to have the data that um, only MDRC can produce. <laughs> but at the end of the day, this is about people. This is about brothers and sisters in this country who are left out and left behind. And you're giving them a voice and giving them a path forward to a future that is brighter and allowing them to imagine. Because it is that imagination that we steal from our young black and brown men and women in this country. And certainly it's the job of the Ford Foundation to support you and your valiant efforts to give them vision and hope. So it's a privilege for me to be here, to have a few minutes to thank you for all that each and every one of you do on the front lines every day. Um, I just am blessed to be here and to know you, Dorothy, and the great team that you've assembled over these years and look forward to more support in the future. Thank you very much.